Hello, um, my name is Elisa Sua du Sapin, and I will read from the beginning of my book, um, Hiver à Sokcho. Il est arrivé, perdu dans un manteau de laine. Sa valise à mes pieds, il a retiré son bonnet, visage occidental, yeux sombres, cheveux peignés sur le côté. Son regard m'a traversé sans me voir. L'air ennuyé, il a demandé en anglais s'il pouvait rester quelques jours le temps de trouver autre chose. Je lui ai donné un formulaire. Il m'a tendu son passeport pour que je le remplisse moi-même. Yann Kéran, 1968, de Grandville. Un Français. Il avait l'air plus jeune sur la photo, le visage moins creux. Je lui ai désigné mon crayon pour qu'il signe. Il a sorti une plume de son manteau. Pendant que je l'enregistrais, il a retiré ses gants, les a posés sur le comptoir, a détaillé la poussière, la statuette de chat fixée au-dessus de l'ordinateur. Pour la première fois, je ressentais le besoin de me justifier. Je n'étais pas responsable de la décrépitude de cet endroit. J'y travaillais depuis un mois seulement. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Anissa Abbas Higgins, and I'm reading to you from my translation of Winter in Sokcho. He arrived bundled up in a woolen coat. He put his suitcase down at my feet and pulled off his hat. Western face, dark eyes, hair combed to one side. He looked straight through me without seeing me. Somewhat impatiently, he, he asked me in English if he could stay for a few days while he looked around for something else. I gave him a registration form to fill in. He handed me his passport so I could do it for him. Jan Caron, 1968, from Grandville, a Frenchman. He seemed younger than in the photo, his cheeks less hollow. I held out my pencil for him to sign and he took a pen from his coat. While I was checking him in, he pulled off his gloves, placed them on the counter, inspected the dust, the cat figurine on the wall above the computer. I felt compelled for the first time since I'd started at the guest house to make excuses for myself. I wasn't responsible for the rundown state of the place. I'd only been working there a month. Thank you.